Okay, this is going to be awesome. Like just just by like the texts and calls we're getting, 877-995-4681. You can text as well, 99338. We were talking to Ashley. She's been seeing this guy, and she's convinced he's too good to be true. We yeah. think everybody goes through. So we want to find the stories where you thought they were too good to be true, but it turns out they are 100% like legit. It's all worked out. Now, I have been questioned by ex-girlfriend's parents because they thought I was too good to be true. I hand to everything um, because they said nothing in my life adds up. That family, professor, parents, kay. college degree, yep. goes to church, yep. does like like volunteering yep. stuff, but works in radio. Like it that Not haggard. Yeah, that didn't add up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yes. So I understand <laughs> that. But the first thing that when Ashley was talking was like this reminded me of Riley oh my God, yeah. to a T because I, I don't mean to be uh rude. Oh no, but you can go ahead. You have the probably the worst dating history yeah. it's almost like you're the like your apple before yeah. the ipod where god bless you you tried but like nobody wanted to buy anything until then you have the new shiny marshall i literally had so many years where it was just ridiculous the amount of douchery yeah. i allowed into my life and i just feel like i sort of like wasn't good enough for a long time mm-hmm. and then when i felt like i was good enough i was so skeptical of anybody that came into my life i was burned like four times prior to marshall and when he came along i legit Almost sabotaged it because he mm-hmm. he literally was like, "I am not your past. Yeah, like I am not going yeah. to hurt you." Mm-hmm. I say this all the time. That man had to fix a heart he didn't break. Mm. Yeah, it's not mine. That's a lyric from somewhere else. Wow. But it, was, it, yeah, it's Ooh, liter- deep. It, but it's true. Like I was messed up in the idea of feeling like, okay, you treat me really well. You really want to be good to my kid? Mm-hmm. You surprise me with What's presents. The you call, you text in the morning. What is the matter with you? Do you have 18 kids somewhere? Like, do you have wow. an arrest record? No, because he's a police officer. <laughs> like, he gets, literally, it freaked me out when he first met y'all. Mm-hmm. And you guys got along with him, too. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> now he's my sensei. This has to be kind of perfect or it's going to really <laughs> suck. Well, what was the thing with um you? Because I remember talking about it on the air, like, maybe a year ago. And I, I was like, I think you're just trying to find like little things like it's almost like the insurance plan of like it's definitely like I think when you're in so many bad relationships you think you don't deserve happiness which mm-hmm. like to Ashley too it's like you should date somebody who seems too good to be true like you everybody deserves to be that happy mm-hmm. but what was this thing with yeah. you guys Riley about the other shoe dropping oh I used to always tell him I was like I'm literally waiting for the other shoe to drop yeah and he used to always tell me I loved that he said this he's like baby you keep those shoes tied yeah like I thought that Oh. There was always going to be something else. So then for our first Valentine's Day, I got him a candle that said, here's to keeping those shoes on. I mean, mm. you got to understand it was scary because Marshall started planning the ring three and a half months in. My man. To some would think is nuts, mm. but he knew that I was a single mom. I had my own career. I had my own stuff going on. So there was no playing around. So I feel like, yeah, they're a dime, they're a diamond in the rough, but that person, your person could be there. And I... I'm real big now into not speaking things into existence. It's like if you, like your obsessions become your possessions. So if you obsess Mm. about it being so bad and you look for the things that are going to be wrong, it might just. I can't just add this. Um, You've dropped a lot of nuggets um, (laughs) that sound good. Find somebody who ruined your your lipstick, not your mascara. Very good, John. I'm just going to say if if you- if you were in that situation, the same situation that Riley was in, or Ashley was in, where you thought they were too good to be true, 877-995-4681 to uh, Bel Air, Maryland, home of the Fresh Prince. Good morning, Kelly. Hey. Hi, how are you? Doing well, thank you. What do you want to say in um, regards to Ashley's <laughs> dilemma? So I definitely was in that exact situation with my husband. I'm kind of like Riley, where I had three kids. I was a single mom, and he whooped me up and did it all. I actually was engaged to him within six months. Yeah. So it was quick. And it was all amazing. I actually called for a What Good Wednesday when we got engaged. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, it's just you have to forget everyone's past. Everybody's past isn't you. Um, the way that that person mm-hmm. acts with you is going to be 100% original to you. However they treated their exes isn't you. Mm-hmm. You can't base them on the past. What? You, can't. you just can go yeah. by what you know. And Kelly, I would imagine Kelly, like maybe when you like came to the realization that you were bringing past trauma in the relationship, probably made you love your husband even more because he went through like I don't know, maybe anger or feelings that he didn't put there, but he still withstood it to be with you. Sure. 
Oh, definitely. Definitely. He had to heal a lot of things that he didn't break. Mm. What's his name? Yeah. Mike. Oh, Mike. Bravo, and, Mike. And, you know, we always said, Kelly, Mike was a fantastic name of a guy a day. There's no bad Mike's that I can think of off the top of my head. So, well, that Michael, there's Michael Myers. who the, the, <laughs> so maybe, yeah. What? <laughs> in his own way because you can't judge people from their past. Mm, absolutely. Kelly, can I put you on hold and get you guys um, sure. my man shirts? Sure. Hold on one second. I think that's so true. Let's yeah. go to uh, to Millersville. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Shawnee. Good morning. So oh, you, uh, hi. this is kind of the same thing with your husband. <laughs> you thought your husband was too good to be true? Oh, yeah. So we met at the end of our freshman year of college and didn't start dating until our sophomore year. But he would stay up with me and do my like, projects kind oh. of with me or like oh. for me a little bit. Yeah. So I'm a teacher, so I have to do like a lot of like posters and like presentations for my classes and he would stay up with me and like help me make my posters with glitter and all that stuff and even now like my co-workers joke with me he's like oh did brady do that for you because (laughs) that's a winner always is doing everything so he does like our housework without me asking i'm pregnant with our second child and he just does everything and it is he's the best and, like, with the projects thing, too, not to be a stereotypical dude, but, like, to be like, is this guy really trying to help me glitter, or is he trying to do know, something else later on? That like, that, you know what I mean? Right, and then mm-hmm. and he would then go back to his, his dorm, his apartment, and he has to stay up to, like, 4 a.m. to do his papers for his major. Yeah. Because he spent all all evening with me doing my stuff. Oh, so that's so awesome. He that, would wake up early to, like, go to breakfast with me, and he's not a morning person. That's that's like all sides of a keep. So that's so dope. Shawnee, thank you yeah, so much for, for calling. Sure. And thank you for being a teacher as well. We appreciate you. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. That, see, like that right there is he's supposed to play with glitter. I there are that. good ones out there. You just got to maybe there give are. it a second. Now, listen, I, I am a proponent of it. Even if it's a pink flag of like nonsense, yeah. I'm done. But until they give you that flag, maybe give it a chance. And if your friends like them, it's probably fine. Yeah. I'm just going just gonna to say, okay, fake name yeah. Rebecca needs voice change. Oh. Um, oh. Rebecca, good morning. Good morning. And hold on one second. Let me see this. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we should be good to go. Um, why we? Okay, so Rebecca, you were in a similar situation. Yes. Okay, so what? What was the deal? So when I actually met my boyfriend back then, he was actually still living with his girlfriend. Oh. And oh gosh. With oh. His <laughs> Okay. So, uh, it was like a situation where she just didn't have a place to go. So, like, the relationship had ended. It was really weird to me because he didn't disclose that to me right off the bat. Uh-huh. So, oh, I was yeah. feeling the same thing where, like, the relationship started off great. You know, we went, he met in an office. Like, he was, you know, he's the tech guy and I was doing accounting. And, you know, it was just that work romance. Sure. That Understand the voice change and the fake name, Rebecca. Yeah. That that all makes yeah. a little oh. more sense. Now. I mean, I don't blame you for being a little oh, yeah. suspicious there. That's a lot. Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. We're being oh. upset at all. It was, it was a big, big issue with our relationship because it made me feel like I just couldn't trust him. And you know, it, we took some time off. Like I did the process things, and you know, I and I think the girl was also pretty cool about it. So she also became more like understanding. Of what she was causing with him, with any person that sure. she would date, okay. she still living there. So she ended up moving wow. out within like a couple months. Yeah, and he, you know, he called me and was like, "Listen, I kind of fixed my situation. Like, I want to really continue dating." And here we are, you know, fourteen years later. Wow, fourteen years! Oh, Holy okay. shnikes! That wow. oh my goodness! You know, Congrats. It's, yeah. It's, you really have to 
take a chance sometimes. You know, I I was really hurt officially, like when we first started dating, but here we are. You know, best decision that we made was give it a second go. Oh well. And there's wow. see there's there's hope for actually thank you Rebecca thank you yeah. for calling have a great day awesome to see you too bye there's so many texts to nine nine three three eight about I was in a similar spot I thought they were too good to be true didn't think I deserve them but we've been together for ten yeah. years like that see that's what you that's need that's a big thing huh? you have to know that you deserve the that kind of love absolutely.